after binomial theorem, the next obvious step is multinomial theorem. Now in multinomial, we'll have terms like x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus xr and hold to the bar n where this n is positive integral index. Now, how do we write summation or how do we write expansion for multinomial theorem? So a general expansion for multinomial theorem is expressed as, so I'll take this x1, maybe this x1 to the power a1, x2 to the power a2, and xr to the power ar. Now, what about the coefficient of this term? So we write this coefficient as factorial n divided by factorial a1, factorial a2, and factorial ar and we can express it as a summation of all the terms where each of this ai is greater than or equal to zero and ai is an integer and also the most important one is a1 plus a2 plus ar and it should be equals to n so it looks little complicated but then uh, see we, we have to think that when we are expanding the series x1 plus x2 plus xr to the power n, then the first and foremost condition is all these powers a1, a2 and ar, they have to be integers or they should be 0 or greater than 0. So we are looking for positive integral index and the sum of all these powers a1 plus a2 plus ar, it should be n and we can get the coefficient as factorial n upon factorial a1, factorial a2 and factorial ar. So we also say this is the general term of the expansion. So if I have to write general term, so that's a general term in the multinomial expansion. So now there can be two questions. First, either they'll ask you to write general term of any multinomial expansion or using general term, we have to work out some problems. And the second problem that we generally see in multinomial theorem is number of distinct terms. Now, for number of distinct terms, we have two conditions. And the first condition is when each of these variables, x1, x2, x3, and xr, they are unrelated or they are different variables. If these variables are different, then number of terms is given by n plus r minus 1. See, r minus 1. So, number of distinct terms, in the multinomial expansion of x1 plus x2 plus xr to the power n is n plus r minus 1. See, r minus 1 when these terms x1, x2, x3 and xr, they are distinct and they are not related. So they are different variables. Say for example, suppose if I say there is a multinomial expansion of a plus b plus c to the power 7. So a question may be find the coefficient of term containing a to the power 3, b to the power 2, c to the power 2. So here I need to write the coefficient of this term. Now if I look at these powers, then 3 plus 2 plus 2, which is 7. So which is in fact equal to n. So x1 plus x2 plus x3, it should be equal to n. And each of these numbers should be uh, either 0 or a positive integer. Now in this case, its coefficient is given by factorial n upon factorial a1, factorial a2 and factorial ar. So I can say this term is given by factorial n, which in this case is 7, factorial 7 divided by what is the index of a3, factorial 3, index of b, factorial 2, index of c, factorial 2 and then it will be simply a cube b square and c square. So the coefficient of this term is simply factorial 7 upon factorial 3, factorial 2 and factorial 2. Now, what about this one? Find the coefficient of the term containing a, b to the power 4 and c. Now, in this case, when I look at these parts, the parts are 1 plus 4 plus 1, which is 6 and which is not equal to n. So, if the sum of the, if, if the, sum of the parts is not equal to n, then that term will not be there in the expansion. So, in this case, simply I'll say the coefficient of the term containing a, b to the power 4 into c is simply 0. So if the sum of powers is not equal to n, then that term is not present in that multinomial expansion. Now the third question can be, find the number of terms in the expansion. So number of terms is given by 
n plus r minus 1, c r minus 1. Now in this case, what is the value of n? n is 7, r, that is the number of variables. So there are three separate variables. So the value of r is simply 3. So number of terms is given by 7 plus 3 minus 1, c, 3 minus 1, which is 9c2. So in this expansion, there will be 9c2 terms, which is 36 terms. So there will be 36 distinct terms in the expansion of a plus b plus c to the power 7. So this is how we generally use multinomial theorem.